Good morning beautiful angels, how are we all today? So we are on video number 10 of 44 ways to attract clients and hopefully you're getting some ideas, you're getting a bit of brain buzz going on so that you can start getting some clients through the door or online so you can make some spondulies. So today we're talking about a free class. So last week I talked about giving away a little bit of a freebie, but this is a full on free class rather than a free information session. It can take a little bit more work and effort, but trust me, by the time you get to the end of it and you do your little upsell, people will be waving their credit cards at you, wanting to know you more. So free classes are uplifting and they can all you gi also give you the confidence that you need to present to people as well. It's amazing the amount of people that I see in my conferences and my, my little workshops and my big stuff and they just kind of sit in awe like, oh, and I think to myself, really, you want to listen to what I've got to say? Wow, thank you so much. And it feels kind of honorable. And when you ask people to attend a class that's completely for free, they can experience your products and your services and then they can purchase afterwards. Does anybody remember Tupperware parties or Thermomix parties, Body Shop? There's all sorts of parties that people do where somebody will come and do a demonstration as such and you get to go for free. You have like, you know, some tea and coffee and biscuits and you look at the stuff. And how many times have you walked away not buying something? Very, very rarely. And this is what you'll do when it comes to doing your free class. You can invite all these people to come along to learn something. And then if they want to buy something further, even if it's a one-on-one -on -one service then all of a sudden boom you've got some more clients so you ha they had it worked Tupperware had it worked out right from the start so I ran a free love languages class in Mount Gambia and it absolutely skyrocketed it was unbelievable the amount of people that turned around and was like oh wow Trish I didn't realize you know what was going on and I even had a couple inside of that free class that are, at the end of it they decided to give it another crack they had found out their love languages they'd found out what had given each other the shits they were separated at the time they decided to give it another crack and it's been like five years now and they are still together they've even gone as far as to open their own business so how cool is that now, when it comes to giving away your free class, it always sounds a little bit weird, okay? But one of the best things to do is to send out the text messages or the emails about the free class, get someone to register, and get them to register first. Ask if anybody is interested and state how many seats that you have. If it's on Facebook, you're going to have more seats. If it's in person, you're probably going to have less seats due to restrictions of space. You can run this out of your home. It's completely free. Now, once you've done this, this is when you start creating your content because it'll put you into action mode. There's absolutely no point in going out there and buying all this stuff, setting up all this stuff for this workshop, and then no one's really interested or everybody's busy. We've had those situations. I've had them myself where I've gone to even just organize a birthday. And for some reason, everybody was busy on that weekend for various reasons. It happens. So send out your information first, nut it out a little bit, and then say to people, hey, would you like to come along? And if you do, I need you to register or just let me know that you're absolutely positively coming. Then create your content. Break it down into daily achievements. So when you're creating your content, break it down into daily achievements and just do a little bit each day. I've been in those places where I'm like, oh, I've got to cram this in. And then it takes away the enjoyment of the entire workshop. So do a little bit each day and break it down into tiny little ba basic steps. So um, I do this in my group session that, uh, that rocks course and it has all of the templates and all of the criteria. I will throw the link in the description for you. And it's just so much easier if you're just like, look, I'm just going to focus on this section first and then you go away, you recharge and I'm going to put my images in, go away and recharge. Hi, Vanetta. Oh, it's evening in, in Germany, is it? Now, when you're doing a free class of any sort, make sure it's interactive. It can be boring as dog shit. Just listen to someone going, yabba, 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 yabba. Like, get people to interact, move around, have little breaks, play with things with their fingers. You need it to be interactive. 
I'm not a huge fan of jumping around like an idiot at the start and going, yeah, 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 I'm in the state. But we do introduce ourselves. We do break the ice like that because it's usually only people that you know. Not many people know everybody else. And make it more interactive where people can move around or they're doing something with their hands at the table. Got to keep the brain interested. Give away a small gift of appreciation as well and don't be tacky about it or cheap. I've received those free gifts that are like a squishy a, a football or something like that with their branding on it and I'm like, what the fuck am I going to do with this? You might as well have given me a bonbon for Christmas with them tiny little magnifying glasses in it that everybody throws away. It's just rubbish. So give away a small gift of appreciation that's not tacky, not going to break the budget, but is also functional. Tea and coffee is a must. It's a must. It's as simple as that. I, I've i been to conferences with my partner, John. They haven't had tea and coffee. And that is the biggest whinge that I hear all the time. They didn't have coffee. They didn't have tea. They didn't have water. I'm very self-efficient. I just take my own water because I don't drink tea or coffee. But when it comes to people who do drink tea and coffee, they are habitual and they are in those, you know, they, that requirement of it. So please have tea and coffee. Upsell with a call to action at the end of your free workshop. I ran a workshop on pain elimination and every single person that was in that free workshop booked to work with me one-on-one -on -one at the upsell at the end. So normally I was charging $560 for that one-on-one -on -one session. At the upsell it was $220 if they booked then and every single person booked in for that. That was a freebie that I ran. We had 23 people there and every single one booked in for that. I always have a small manual for people to write in. I don't want to go the whole hog, okay? I just have a very small, about four or five pages for people to write their content in. It also makes people feel like they're getting real value. Inside of the manual, always include the intro of how you struggled and how you came to be. We've all got a story to tell, so tell your story. Good stories sell. Soft opening of questions about them. That's what you do here. You don't want to be talking about yourself and all your training and blubbering on stage about your trauma and blah, blah, blah. Fuck that shit. They're there because they want to learn about them. If you want to go into your story later on, do it like later on down the track. Don't do it straight off the bat. I've been to those conferences where somebody's gone on stage, dribbled out their story again and again and again, and they're still bawling their eyes out with the tears. And here I am thinking, wow, the award for best actress goes to Audrey Hepburn up on the friggin' stage here because she's teaching healing, yet she hasn't healed herself. There is a difference, okay? So don't be that plastic person. When you're doing your manual, ensure that your manual has enough information for your attendees to engage, but not to be therapist or to plagiarize your content. There's many times where I will run a slideshow that has the questions on it, but then they write the answers into the manual. You have to protect your content because unfortunately, there's a lot of assholes out there that will plagiarize it. I know that we're not coming up with anything new inside this industry, that everybody's sort of just rehashing something, but there is a very, very fine line between you taking content and making it your own and just copying it word for word and then reselling it. So just go careful with that one. At the 45 minute mark, I always take a 15 minute break and then I do another 45 minutes. Uh, unfortunately, you have smokers, you have people that, you know, you're probing their brain. They haven't been in any kind of school scenario or self-development scenario in quite some time. So 45 minutes, 15 minute break, and then do another 45 minutes. After the, after the break, do some soft questions and then some big info. So ask them, how are they feeling? Would they like a glass of water? Are they finding value inside of your free workshop? Once you've done that, go into your upsell, then ask for feedback and testimonials as well. If you have a little QR code whilst you're there, they can scan that QR, give you feedback right there on the spot. Boom, butter bing, done, in and out. So this is my love languages course. You notice the little snails on the table. Uh, I had a girlfriend hand carve them. She was learning how to do limestone carving at the time. And she only charged me $5 for each one. And then she decided to paint each one. So this was a free love languages one that I gave away. And the whole lot at the end of the day cost me maybe $60. And I had um, eight people there. And all eight people took the upsell at the end. 
your you will make your money from the upsell not from the free course and how cute are these little snails they're absolutely gorgeous um, one of my girlfriends she sent me a photo um, and she's like I've still got mine you could put it in your garden I also asked my girlfriend to put her little card with them so if anybody else wanted anything else hand carved they absolutely can so that's all you've got to do offer a free class and then have an upsell at the end don't be greedy and also remember that some people don't make decisions on finances right there and then so I tell them to um, to purchase the upsell like I don't use the word upsell obviously but I tell them to purchase the item at the discounted price then those that don't I will send a message a few hours later and I'm like hey I noticed that you didn't um, go any further when it comes to your self-healing would you like to discuss it do you have any questions because they may need to go home and ask their husband or their wife is it okay if they spend the money that might be all it is sometimes they're genuinely not interested and they will tell you like oh look I'm really not interested I'm like thanks no worries I was just making sure that you were okay and if you had any questions that perhaps you forgot to forgot to ask me so jump onto it do a free class it can be online it can be in person one of the the negatives to doing this is that um, you can have a lot of people that will say yes I'm coming and then they don't show up don't worry about it it happens you'll get approximately 30% of those that you do invite but if you get them to register online then all of a sudden it feels like they're even more committed so jump onto it gives you experience gives your healing out there it only takes like one afternoon and you can make thousands and thousands of dollars and get more people through the door and it's really great fun all right lovelies I will catch you in the next video I'll see you on the flip side bye bye